Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. Uh, turns out my the uh, the fan on my CPU heatsink died. This is not the first time that has happened. I'm not happy about that, because I've only had the thing about maybe four or five months, something like that. But uh, anyhow, as you can see, I've got a barrel of shale here. I don't suppose it's on my inventory. Uh, something about using cardboard boxes tends to glitch them out. Speaking of cardboard boxes, I, uh, well, first of all, I've got a bunch of sticks and stuff in here from processing, actually, wood from the trees that were around here, which I've replaced quite a few of them with willow. Oh, check this out. There is an update to the mod pack, and now carpenter's blocks, I can actually open it with my sword. So I started doing some tree aside and replacing them with willow trees. Uh, I kind of wish I had some of the Natura willow trees as well, because I like their logs more. But as it currently stands, I just built this entire place out of carpenter blocks. Now, alright, every single time the uh, thing updates, I have to tweak the settings on MapRider. And it's kind of annoying, actually. I think that's... Oh. No, oh, no, it's not everything. Draw chords small. There we go. Now, I realize I'm doing this because the uh, that takes my eye position into account. So in this case, I actually want 62. So I'm going to set it to 62 min, 62 max. And I'm going to set it to acquire carpenter's blocks. And I want it to replace them with shale. Now, I'm going to set it to auto pull, which means that it will pull the, uh, the shale out of there to replace things. So I don't need to actually put it in here. Now, this should work. As you can see, it's picking up the blocks. And the way it does it, it doesn't even disturb the doors. So I'm going to have the floor made out of shale. At least this one. I'm probably going to make a floor up higher as well as probably making rooms out. It's starting as a square, but I have plans to expand it. Uh, I have this set up here. It's receiving power and sending items, because I had it on the back of that. And then I had the barrel under here receiving the shale. And then this is, of course, sending power from the network. Although, I don't know why, but for some odd reason, this is using... Well, it's not going down yet, but this goes empty from this for some reason. It's almost like the amount of power it says it's using isn't accurate. But, I don't know. I do know that because I don't have the Natura logs, uh, I think I'm going to make pillars out of logs. I originally didn't want to make a house out of wood. You know what? I'm going to use stone brick there. That way I can save the wood. That, and I've got a metric ton of stone brick. I actually voided most of it into a trash can, but I made a mechanism bin. Uh, here, I'll just show you real quick. It's pretty simple. It's made from cobblestone and a control circuit. It's basically kind of like a barrel, but I can break it and pick it up. Uh, I just wanted it. Because it gives me a nice, good, visible value rather than what these show on them. But, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just outright replace these instead of filling them in. Because that might come back to bite me later if I don't. So what I can do is if I ever want to add any detail... Oh. Right. If I ever want to add any details later on, like, for example, the grass on the door here, what I can do is I can replace them with carpenter's blocks and fill them in, and then I should be able to apply the grass directly. That's the plan. That is not stone brick. So, I thought you might want to know how I come up with my... I didn't want to just make it. I could have, but I made it out of carpenter's blocks, which basically meant, you know, temporary blocks, because I needed walls at the time. Uh, oh, here it is. 
I don't like using stone bricks too much because a lot of people use them, but I'm I'm okay with using a few of them right now because, well, basically I'm just doing it on the corners. I could make them just a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I think I'll... That is not a good place to break in. Uh, right here. I actually think I will make them just a little bit more interesting. Grab some sticks. Uh, how are you doing? You done? You appear to be done. Still can't right-click on you with a torch, though. So we'll grab these, and we'll take the... I'll take these, and I'll place them like that, that like that, and get us some wedge slopes. Now... I'm going to put these on the corners, like, no, uh, okay, I'm going to have to solve this the hard way, which means I'm going to need my carpenter's hammer. No, uh, maybe I need the chisel. I might need the chisel to pull this off properly. No. No. Whoops. Ah. There we go. So then what I can do is I can now take my stone bricks and apply them, not you, and get a rounded corner. I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm not okay with this. You kind of defeat the entire purpose of putting that little rounded bit there if you couldn't hardly see it due to grass. You know, I should probably replace this section of wall. Just maybe. Okay, so how did I do that? No. Accidentally breaking things is going to become a problem very quickly. Aha. Okay. Why did you do that? It's going to become less of an issue eventually because they inherit their... They inherit their... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to go with solidity. What? Why did you do that? From the block applied to them? There we go. Which means that now that because they're that, they're harder to break. Not much harder because the steel paxel just shreds through stone brick. But they are harder. Let's see if I can do that. No, why would you do that? Okay, there we go. Now, don't any of you screw up on me. Good, good. This looks very hazardous, but in reality it's just water. I like it. Uh, that is a witch from Witchery. That's not going to attack me but if I try and talk to it. What did I do? Whoops. That is not what I meant to do. Why? I think I broke it, guys. I set the uh, max chat lines to retain to zero from 100 there we go. See, it says you are not skilled in the art and gives that sound effect. So, I do want to get into witchery at some point. Whoops. But, not at the moment, I think. I don't like... One thing I don't like about the carpenter's blocks is it doesn't have the... The auditory feedback when you break it. because, well, I like the auditory feedback because it lets me know that I've quite solidly broken it. But, eh, what are you going to do? Oh, apparently I still need to replace this corner. So, what I'm probably going to do is replace the walls with willow wood. Curious to see how that looks if I do that. Uh, let's see. Plus five. Okay. 
Uh, do I have enough willow planks for that? Probably not. So I'm going to set it to replace with willow. Uh, turn off the auto pool just in case. Throw at it what I have. I'm going to want to configure it to be at 63 min and I'll just say 70 max even though I know it's too high. But I'm just replacing carpenter's block so it shouldn't be a problem. Now it'll very conveniently start at the very bottom and hopefully by carpenter's blocks it leaves the wedge slopes alone. It doesn't appear to be picking them up. I would have found out very quickly if it was going to pick them up. So I'll just throw these in here, try to keep this filled. Uh, there is not enough blocks. I'm going to have to stop that before it gets too far. Because if I don't, it's going to start removing blocks without placing new ones. Oops. Yeah, that looks alright. I have sort of a plan. I I decided I'm going to work off the whole evil, maniacal thing from when I defeated the dungeon with MMF MFFS. And I'm going to stop you for a moment. And as such, I think it'd be real good if I had like a little hidden underground base type thing, but then have a perfectly normal front. That's still probably not going to be enough. I might have to... Th eh, no, no, there's almost an entire stack worth of logs in there still. I hear you, zombie. Oh, one of those torches did not go where it was supposed to. I'm going to stop you for now. How much is over here? Twelve. Uh, not enough, sir. Okay, I'm going to get my torches placed. Uh, I'll put them three up. Now, technically, if I press F7, good, there's no spawnable area. This torch is critical for that. I, I did get a bunch of lamps, but I don't really have, I don't even have a roof. It is nighttime. Uh, yeah, that's more than enough. That should finish us out. I'm curious to see how that looks from the outside. Although it's a bit dark and zombie-esque outside right now. So that's probably not a good idea. Although I can sleep, maybe. There's a good chance that the zombie will prevent that. Yeah. My sword's about to break, too. Now, no more zombies appear. I wish to sleep. This is another cool thing about the carpenter's bed, is the fact that it looks like you're actually under a blanket. And I quite like that. Okay, so how do you look? You look like you could use some windows. I'll probably make some chisel windows. Uh, what is some glass? Hmm... There's just some glass there. Uh, oh, we got some sand. It's not much, but it's something to work off of. I kind of want to make an energized smelter. Why are you making the alloys? I don't want... I don't want... Well, now it's only going to make that because it's in alloy mode, so... Good, good. Uh... That's actually not a bad thing. I kind of wanted to make those at one point, but not right now. But I might as well make use of them now. If you take fused glass, which as you saw is just made from sand, with the alloy smart and alloy mode, we get the fluid conduits. Now there is a higher tier of those, but they require glass made from quartz. And I haven't moved the nether portal over because I think I might want to actually make a portal... I'm not sure if the mechanism ones work interdimensional. I can actually figure that out at some point. Uh, every mechanism portal requires a, well, at least one piece of energized, or not energized glowstone, uh, the glowstone ingot for mechanism and eight obsidian ingots. 
Which, I mean, I've got obsidian, but the closest thing I have to the glowstone stuff is here. Now, if I were to repair these up the whole way... No? Hmm. Maybe not. Or maybe it won't tell me because the fact... Uh, yeah, if they're repaired the whole way, you can smelt them, and you can actually recover the equal number of ingots back out of them. So I'll probably do that. Now, I don't have any lava, but what I can do is the mod Mariculture, it has this thing called a vat. Now, the vat can be used to make obsidian, or you can use it to make other things. Now, it doesn't have a GUI, a GUI, as people like to call it, but uh, if we go down to the burnt brick, you can see either nether bricks and half a bucket of lava and eight seconds, and you get a burnt brick, or a regular brick, a whole bucket of lava, and 16 seconds. Now, these burnt bricks are used to make things such as the crucible furnace, which I want to make at some point. The ingot caster. Now, the Here's what we want to make. The blacksmith's anvil, which requires, let's see, 12 plus 3, so that's 15 there. And then you also need the hammer, which has a 1,000 uses, which we're probably going to need to make a couple of these. But we need nether bricks for that. So that is a bit unfortunate. I'm avoiding enhanced portals at the moment because I don't believe the bug with... Uh, what it does to your inventory is fixed anytime you use the dialer. I suppose I could subvert that by not using the dialer. Hmm, that could work. Uh, do I have a chisel? No, that's the carpenter's chisel. Okay. So if we look at the mod chisel, well, actually, I'm just typing chisel. But right here, the chisel, which is made from a stick. Wow. I don't have any of those. And a piece of iron. First of all, that's not the stick. And second of all, that's not the right configuration. So, if you shift right click with this, you can put these in. And you can get different types of glass and stuff. Now, I wonder what would look good for this case. I mean, the bubble glass looks okay. I don't want anything too clear, but I don't want anything too industrial. Uh, let's use shale glass, since our floor is made of shale. So, I suppose I'll put... No! I want it. Uh, I have an extra ender pearl. Let's look at the item collector. From random thing. Oh, it takes three. Fuck that. Let me throw. Okay, so we don't need you on the bar at the moment. Now. That. That does not connect as I was expecting. Unfortunately, chisel glass still suffers from the cannot break. Which means that if I break it, it's gone. And since I've already started... Okay, scaffolding. You're in the way. Maybe I should make proper, like, scaffolding. Uh, uh. You know what? I'll run around outside and get any I don't get after I finish placing the glass. Uh, okay, move. You're in the way. Now, when I was oops, mining the shale with the digital miner, sometimes you get clay extra. That, I didn't get all of that from it. I actually moved my clay out of here into there. But it doesn't change the fact that you do get it, which has its uses. I am having difficulties with some of my machine placements. Although, many of those are probably going to move in the future. What's that noise? It almost sounded like a sheep eating grass or something. Uh, if you see that right there... I don't know if there's any more around here. There might be. 
uh, Ars Magica has these moonstone meteors. They're where they get the moonstone for the mod from. But the downside to that is they start cluttering the landscape, and they seem to have this weird pattern of landing. Like, if I leave this here, and we come back sometime in the future, you'll see that there's actually going to be moonstones stacking up on that spot. Which is a bit, eh, but you can do about it. Oh, right. I want to put some glass out here. Because I am going to eventually move the machines out of this building and into probably like a sub-basement or something. So this will just look like a generic house, even more so than my previous attempt at a modded Minecraft series. I say attempt because I gave up on that due to constant updates to the beta version of uh, Thermal Expansion. Which, by the way, Thermal Expansion... Uh, how are we doing for time? It's probably getting a bit late in the episode now. Maybe. I don't know. We're probably only about 20-something minutes, I'd have to say. Uh, anyhow, the mod logistics pipes. They have recently pushed an update where it w it's disabled by default in the mod pack, but I enabled it partly because I want to test it and partly because I don't want to use buildcraft pipes. Where you can actually use TE fluid, or not fluid, well, technically fluid ducts because there's fluid basic pipes and stuff. But you can use the TE uh, ducts in general, the thermal expansion ducts, and you don't need any of these on the junctions in them. You, you can literally have just thermal expansion conduit piping everywhere. The slight downside is the fact of it's technically an untested feature. Interesting. What are you and why do you exist? Huh. Uh, the unfortunate downside of that is because it's an untested feature, it could potentially corrupt the world. But I'm willing to take that risk. I'm really confused as to what these are for. Hmm. This looks new. But the remote orderers I really want. Uh, I have plans to combine them with other things in order to create a pretty nifty system. Uh, these logistics crafting tables, as far as I can tell, they require power, and I believe need a power junction to get power to their network. Uh, but these pipes are a bit expensive, and I'm likely to just... Well, first of all, I don't like using gears. They cost way too much. I'm likely to probably just build laser stuff. You know what? Let's get some laser framework set up. Uh, we should have plenty of time to deal with this. Uh, I'm also going to need... I don't believe there was a diamond gear. But there was, there was in fact, a gold gear. You know what? Let's just grab these, and this, and a stack of this. And find me a table. Laser! And... Oh, that's not terribly helpful. Assembly table. Okay, so first we'll make one of these. Or it won't make one of these, and I'll have to make it manually. And that'll make the assembly table. Now we're going to need lasers. Uh, these are part of Cori Plus, and they are a pain to make, but they can do some serious laser speeds later on. Uh, yeah, you know what's great. Let's make eight. I don't have the power infrastructure set up to run all of these at the moment, but in case you haven't seen these from my 147 series, uh, already the chests are in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these down. Just put them right here for now. Uh, that should work too. Wow, that looks cramped and terrible. But, now what I can do is I can grab, say, a stack of this, a stack of this, and come over here, throw them in, and it'll start lasering these. Now, the amount of lasers I have right now supplies enough 
power for 25.2 Minecraft joules a tick. And it takes 40,000 to make one chipset. So I'm going to end up cutting through my power supply pretty quickly, but my actual positive gain when I run this is higher. Uh, give me that. Four sound good enough. Four should put us at about six or so. So shouldn't overflow on power. Uh, if I put this here, oh. That is an extremely jury-rigged way of handling this, but that brings us up to 33.60, which will make this just a little bit faster. We've almost made one. I might be able to get into this faster than uh, I expected. Apparently making eight lasers is a good way to do this. But fortunately, we also need diamond pipes. I killed quite a bit of my glass. The good news about this is the same way I converted it to that, I can convert it back. So now I have some glass. I'm going to need some diamond pipes. I'm also going to need some, I believe it was cobblestone pipes. Maybe it was stone pipes. Ah, good. It's just cobblestone pipes. I'm going to make two sets of these, if I put these in the right place. And now these take, as you can see, the golden chipsets and redstone torches. I don't believe I managed to acquire any redstone torches. No. I am going to make eight of these. These being redstone torches. Yes, I realize I threw that on the ground. Should be getting a bit close to where I want to be, but... Uh, I'll put that there, that there, those there, those there. I'll need to get some more sand for some more glass. Uh, did it just finish? Cool. Uh, we will do two crafts of these right now. Because we have the materials. And now we have 16 basic logistics pipes. Now they don't do much as it is, but if we make these provider pipes... Uh, I should have... Oh, there is some red torches. Now, what I can do with these provider pipes, the easiest way I'm probably going to want to do this is to move these, and I think I'll make some item ducks. Uh, item ducks, I believe, are made with tin. The cool thing about the TE ducks, I'll leave that there and I'll use this one, is the fact of what they are. Oh good, it's the other way around. That means I can get more. You can easily determine. So item ducks are sort of a, a grayish color and you know what, screw it, let's just make all of them. So that that's how you know it's made of tin. The fluid ducks are a copper color because they're made from copper. So that's extremely helpful and an easy way to remember what's where. I'm going to have to get more diamonds, but that's not really an issue. The digital miner uh, I am going to, however, need the logistics power junction, which is two redstone, six, and then nine more redstone. So, I'm actually just letting the laser go at the moment while I get this set up. That was not what you were supposed to do. There we go. There we go. Now... All I have to do here is, I kind of messed it up a bit. I'll put it there. Will you receive power there? No. Uh, can I make this? Yes. So, oh, I can fix it. Now, you see the little output symbol -y thing there? If I right-click, that's now the actual output. And I should be able to place this, and it is receiving power at a very good rate. Now, you can see the actual conversion ratios here. So, in order to get to the 2 million of this, I'm actually only going to need roughly 400,000 out of here. Which is one piece of red stat. Put that in there. So, it is going to completely drain that out, but now that that's empty, we should be seeing a 
Okay, we're not going to be seeing a positive power gain. Oh, right, 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 right. Because I'm generating 320, but I'm using 33.6. So if I were to break one of these lasers, I should start seeing a positive power gain. But if we go over here and look at the provider logistics pipe, we'll make, say, two of these at the moment. So then what I can do is we can attach these to things, and they will provide. So let's say I put one here and one here. Uh, I'm going to move you. I'll throw you over there. Now I should be, because of the config settings I have set up, able to connect these like so. And that goes all gold like that, and that's deeply confusing. But with any luck, I were to connect these up. Stop. Oh, I can run that through then. Hmm. Now, I'm not going to be able to hook it directly to that because that shouldn't allow it to transfer power. But if I take one of these basic pipes and place it there, you'll notice that's green, and now these are green. They should have power. Now, what does it take to make the request logistics pipe? Ah! Uh, I can make that, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't run on too long because of me doing this. We're going to make this and then probably stop shortly after. Now, every single one of these pipes takes the basic one or a derivative of the basic one. So what I can do with this request pipe is I can actually set it, say, I don't know, we'll connect it here. Now, I obviously, I'm right-clicking on this, and nothing's happening. But, uh, the easiest way I can think of is you can make a remote orderer... Oh, that's going to take a while. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to just make these right now for the sake of time and science. Mostly science. Because I want to show you the cool thing... And I have plans to make more use of that. It's not terribly useful in the current situation. Crap. I need... Glass. Now... Actually... Stop what you're doing. Uh, if you put... Cobble into the crusher... It will make... Gravel. If you put gravel into the crusher, it will make sand. So what I can do here... Oh, there's three glass in there. Four glass. Okay, good, good. Now, I should be able to bind this to the request pipe. There we go. Now... Hmm. Things may have changed. Go away, pop up. Is this not bound? Did I make the wrong pipe? It should be fine. Maybe I need to make a tier 2? Or maybe that's what this is for now? Although, realistically, I think it says that you can turn anything, any of the pipes, into a request pipe. So why can I not... Interesting. Hmm. Strange. But, as you can see, all of our stuff shows up in this window, and then we can actively just request something. So let's request this pair of stairs. Uh, these base item docks are a bit slow, but it should eventually pop out of this request pipe right here. And we can use other things like the crafting logistics pipes to send things in for crafting... There's the stair. That'll be a lot faster once I get these upgraded to the better ones. I could just make gold piping at the moment, to be honest. But then it would connect to things I don't want it to, and I'm not going to bother with that. I probably... I'm not sure. I do know that it's not 
terribly useful to me in the state. Now, the last time I used it, I was able to link the remote orderer to a request pipe. Maybe it needs to have an inventory? Let's try giving it an inventory to connect to. So, we'll put you there. Huh. Hmm. Something must have changed on me. I'm not help uh, helpy. I'm not happy with this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. Weird. Ah. Uh... Yeah, too much work. I'm going to get a bunch of chipset, chipsets and stuff made up for the next time, and I'm going to call this good here. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.